We're in the off season of boot sales. That's where I get most of my stock. Two thirds of the year, I'm out there on the field, getting all the bargains, getting them in my trolley, getting them back home. Then the final third of the year, when it's cold, dark, damp, I ain't going out on the boot sale fields, even if there are on. I soon get through that boot sale stock and I need to find stock from elsewhere. There's plenty of different avenues to get the stock from. Charity shops, retail arbitrage, auctions. And another way to get good secondhand quality stuff online is clothing wholesale. When it comes to clothing, there's no short of places where you can get it from. Obviously everyone wears clothing, so there's a lot more clothing out there. So you can go out to charity shops, places like that, auctions, you can get bits here and there. But if you're really looking to scale up and you want a lot all at the same time, then clothing wholesale is the way to go. I've covered wholesale clothing sites before, but that was more of a mystery box type of system. So I wasn't really specific enough, so you wouldn't know exactly what you're getting. Uh, I tend to stay away from that now. It treated me well during lockdown when I was struggling for stock. But now when I can be more picky, more selective, I can choose brands or choose styles. I need to be more specific when it comes to clothing wholesale. The only thing when it does come to clothing wholesale suppliers, in the UK and worldwide, there are lots of them. They're all offering similar sort of things like mystery boxes, clothing bundles, brands here, there and everywhere. But the quality and the grading and the customer service varies from company to company. But today's video and video sponsor is Fleek. Join Fleek.com, a vintage clothing wholesale marketplace. Wholesalers, they're listing on Fleek and then delivering to you. So the added benefit of this is we can see all the suppliers that have joined up. That means there's loads of different bundles, different brands, different niches, t-shirts, women's, kids, coats, jackets, jeans, wherever it is, there's going to be a category that you specialize in. And the other benefit of this is the up and down with customer service because they're sending through Fleek to us. We go to Fleek for customer service. So if any problems at all, lost parcels, grading issues, you're going to Fleek and then the wholesaler has to report to Fleek and sort it out. When there's been issues before, it's been a headache to sort things out. So we're on the main page now of joinfleek.com. And as you can see, it looks very, very clean and clear to understand. We've got reviews of Fleek. And we've got top searches, obviously in the top searches, reworks, Carhartt, Bales, Hype. So he's niched down a lot, which is very good. Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds to choose from. Oh, I don't know where to start. If we go to shop bundles, let's see what comes up here. So latest drops here. So there's filters, so we can easily just scroll through. We're gonna set our price range. I'm gonna spend a maximum of 250 to try it out, see how we get on. Okay, and then we're gonna sort by what we're gonna sort by. Let's see what's best selling. What's the best seller of my price range in stock at the moment? So here we go. Branded modern hoodies and fleeces, 20 pieces, four pound a piece, 88 pounds. Shipping included as well. So 88 pounds, free delivery for 20 pieces of branded hoodies this is like a representation and then if you come down here this is from thrift vintage wholesale so they're based in the uk shipping 5 to 14 working days you get fleek buyer protection uh, we'll protect you in case of cancelled orders severe delays or product quality issues i'm guessing we can click on the actual wholesaler and see all their bundles if you've got a favorite wholesaler oh ski jackets hello 11 pound a piece you get 20 for 215 all in we are in winter now, obviously, so that might be a good one. This is the only problem. There's, if anything, too much choice. So I've got to try and, oh, here we go. Different bundles here, make it a bit easier. Let's go to NFL, like a bit of Americana, if that's the word. Again, go to our price, go to the filter so we're not wasting our time. Got a couple here, oh, here we go. Varsity NFL end flight jacket, 13 piece. So this looks like a specific bundle. So in the video is what I should be getting, maybe. Super Bowl champion, so it's quite cool. £16 a piece. Oh, look at that magic. That looks nice. So I might have found a winner here. I went to Carhartt and I found this Carhartt and Dickies of Dungaree, 10 pieces. £17 a piece. Uh, we've got £165, which is including shipping as well. Uh, this is coming from Pakistan again, Marvel Vintage. Uh, so £17 a piece, uh, there's a video again to show him. Went on to eBay, done a bit of digging on pricing, what things actually sell for. And the Dickies, here we go, £44.99, £39.99, £32.46, another £40, £44, £45. So for the Dickies, it tends to be around 35 to 45 pushing 50 for a really nice pair, I reckon, in a nice good size. And then the Carhartt ones, we're getting bigger prices. So this one's 68 best offer, 60 best offer. 65, uh, 69.95, 60. So yeah, the Carhartts seem to be 50 to 60, and then the Dickies, 
30 to 40, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna add this to my cart. I might not pull the trigger on it, but we're gonna add this to the cart. Let's do a bit more digging, see what else we can find. Um, so I'm trying to think, obviously, what's gonna be selling fast. Era, oh, hello. Uh, styles, sportswear, retro fashion, accessories. That could be a bit different. Uh, I forgot, sunglasses. Y2K sunglasses, two pound a piece. And if I bought sunglasses, they're only two pound a piece, but I'm getting a hundred of them, and they could be like cheap, no brand, even though the, the style looks cool. Yeah, they are very 2000s, aren't they? They're cool, but I don't know. I don't know what the pricing would be like on like an unbranded, just 2000s sunglasses. Um, let's have a look. Let's see, unbranded. Uh, can we go to brand? Unbranded, there we go. Uh, five pound, 10 pound, and that's all that is sold. So yeah, I'm gonna skip them for now. I don't wanna clock my store up with loads of cheap sunglasses. So I decided to add the dungarees to my basket and I also went with the best selling bundle within my price range with the money I had left. Branded modern hoodies and fleeces, 20 pieces. Before I try out what the best selling bundle is like. I did it to my cart, so that's 88 pounds. The dungarees, 165. So a grand total, 253 pounds 59. So three pounds 59 over. I'm sure you can let me off that. So I'll get them ordered and then I'll see you once they're delivered. Oosh. Both boxes have been delivered. The one from the UK took about a week or so to come. And this one from Pakistan took, it was the week after. So from Pakistan to the UK, two weeks, not that bad. So just to remind ourselves of the order, we got one of them, I'm not sure which one. One of them is 10 pieces of Carhartt and Dickies dungarees. And the other one is branded modern hoodies slash fleeces, 20 pieces. Let's open that one first. So we know roughly what we're getting. So about what sizes we've got what the quality and condition's like. So, nice. Straight at the top here, I'll just whip them out, show you what I got. I've got 20 to go through. Adidas MLS, MLS Major League Soccer, the American Football League. I think each piece in this one owes me four pounds, so that's easily worth more than four pounds. Probably 18 to 20, 22 maybe. Good start. That's cool. Velo, what do you call that? Velour. Velour. Got a piece of Velour filler. Feeler, filler. Uh, oh, still got the, what's this? Got a tag. Oh, from Goodwill. Ladies sweats, originally from Goodwill. 7.99, that's quite nice actually. That'll probably be nicked by Layla or Maisie. But um, yeah, feeler, velour, size large. Is that large women's or men's? Really nice piece, velour is quite in at the moment. Oh, it was a year or so ago. Don't know if it still is. Oh, it's gamey. There we go, nice strong piece. Nike, big Nike swoosh on the front there. That's like a symbol. Looks like Christmas trees or Forest trees, anyway. Small men's or women's unisex. 18, 20 quid, maybe. No crack into the neck, no holes, no smell. Smell test. It's all good. Another known piece. Big Adidas swoosh on the front. White hoodie. Simple thing, but again, worth way more than four pounds. Size medium. That'll sell easily on Depop or Vinted. Another simpler hoodie. Puma, black and blue. UK large. Again, just a simple listing. It should be a simple sale. Ooh, NBA. This looks like a good sign. Hello, NBA Adidas zip up hoodie. Brooklyn, New York, big Adidas embroidered logo with the NBA logo embroidered. And then on the back, there we go. Nice big nets on the back. That's all embroidered. Bit of fleece on the basketball. Brooklyn, that's really, really nice. I think it's on the smaller side of the sizing, extra small. So almost a home run there. If that was a large, extra large, something like that, that would have been really, really nice. It's still really nice, but extra small but at least then it goes into the unisex, so men's, women's, yeah, easily the best piece so far. Levi's, again, another simpler hoodie that's nice and clean, good name on it. And then the logo, it's not like I'm getting bad uh, hoodies with cracks and everything. The condition's spot on, doesn't even need to go in a wash, which is handy. Jack Wolfskin, I think that's more of a walk-in brand. There's a the logo there, embroidered on the shoulder. I like that, actually. Is it a large? That's a small, small men's or adults, yeah, more plain, Jack Wolf skin, oh, there they go, on the pocket there. Still will sell nice and quick, and again, nice and clean. Under Armour, another different brand, large slash loose fit, looks like a quarter sip or half sip there, indigo violet type color, really nice. Perfect weather for it, especially when people are starting to run in January, they're gonna want a bit of Under Armour on, keep them warm while they're out running, which I should be doing a bit more now. Full zip hoodie, 
bit of design on the arms there, that's quite cool. Uh, yeah, plain on the back, plain on the front, but more of a design in the details, like in the hood, there's this pattern as well. But yeah, extra large, Adidas, it's just a nice solid item to add to my store. Stores across this thing now. Got a brown hoodie, another Puma. It's of a brown and black. Again, same story, no crack into the logo or anything like that. Ah, Champion. Champion. It's exactly the same, basically, as the Under Armour, but this one's more of an orange, and this is Champion. Champion. Again, a sort of lightweight, quarter zip vest, perfect for running or walking, things like that. Another Champion. Champion. Can't see a size, so it looks like a small to medium women's. Again, just clean and easy to list. Puma, full zip. Looks like a smaller women's again. It's like a shiny, glittery Puma. Not gonna be worth loads of money, but when it's owing me four pound, that's again, that's gonna be like sort of 12-ish pound maybe, plus postage. Champion Heritage Classics. It's cool, medium. Look like a mint green hoodie. Looks like a women's. Looks like a crop hoodie. They're really nice. Champion, that would sell really good on Depop, I'd be guessing that. Get all the keywords in. Oh, nice fleece. It's like the fellow one, but this is more of a sort of teddy bear fleece, which is really cool. That's definitely gonna get nicked by one of the girls. This one is a UK medium. Yeah, medium women's, maybe men's. I could wear that, I could pull it off. But if no one nicks it, again, that's going straight in the store and that should sell quick. Fleeces are quite hot at the moment. Under Armour, plain hoodie, big logo on the front. Again, nice and clean, especially for a white hoodie. I'm surprised there's not any marks or anything. I'm very impressed with the condition of these, so. Yeah, but this collection is really good if you're starting out or you are looking to grow a store. Obviously, this is all good stuff. It's not like amazing, like blow out the water. That Brooklyn one was the best one. But it's this good, solid stuff, good names, good condition. So if you're just starting out or you're looking to expand your store, this is the sort of box I'd be ordering if I'm looking for higher numbers. Again, another champion. That's like a burgundy quarter zip. Oh, that's really nice. Might keep that one, actually, if I'm allowed to treat myself. But this one is a, that's an extra large, maybe too big for me. But again, nice and clean. Ideal for that running, like people in the January New Year's resolution. Two more now, and we've got Adidas again. This is more of a turquoise teal full zip hoodie. A oh, nice little velour on the back or velvet on the back. Then last from this box, we have a Gap, gray full zip Gap hoodie. Again, just another solid item, nice and clean. Bit of a steam. And there we go. Perfect stock, like I said, if you're starting out or just looking to expand. Now this is one I'm mostly excited about. So that was more quantity. I'm going for this one. This was more the quality and the names over the amount. So there's only 10 in here. If I don't drop it on my foot this time. So this was 10 Carhartt or Dickies dungarees, workwear dungarees. So these were owing me about 16 pound a piece now. So we're going up a bit, but there's only 10 but hopefully bigger margins. Well, I can see denim, which is a good start. So I should be seeing Carhartt Dickies. Hopefully nothing else. Shouldn't be anything else. So this has come all the way from Pakistan. We're starting with Dickies. Dickies dungarees, would you believe? <laughs> That's what it says on the tin. Uh, again, this is from a different supplier. So obviously Fleek, they don't actually sell the items. Fleek are hosting from different uh, wholesalers. So that first one was from the UK, and this is from a completely different wholesaler in Pakistan. So we'll be checking out condition again, keeping an eye out on that. But I know these are workwear, so they might have a few scuffs in that, but that doesn't really put people off, especially Carhartt. So that's a good bit of news. These first ones are looking good. A couple of marks on there, like I just said, from workwear, which is fine. So there's no rips and things like that. Then we're all good. The first pair looks a-okay to me. Done about sizing. Definitely looks like a bigger size. Oh, that's definitely, that's huge. That's huge on me. That's probably double XL maybe. I'll find the tag, but Dickies, when I was researching, they should be going at least 35 minimum. So hopefully a bit more on them. A couple of marks, but not too bad. No rips or anything like that. That's the most important thing. Ah, second one in. That's what I want, a box full of that. Bit of Carhartt. Again, denim dungarees. Yep, they're definitely dungarees. Whoa, they are. They are big. Look at them. Put two of me in there, making sure there's no damage or anything like that. These ones haven't even got a stain on them, which is quite impressive. These ones probably would benefit from a wash, actually. There's a bit more dust in them, but being workwear, that is to be expected. Bottoms of the jeans there, looking good. So that is hopefully more of a 50 pounder, at least, there for the Hakaha, really big size. I don't know if I can find a tag. 50 by 32, 50 inch waist. Jeez, you can fit two of me in there. So, B 
bigger is better. Uh, 50 inch waists. Uh, hopefully there's not too much market for them on eBay and online. So hopefully I can name a bit of a premium because hopefully there isn't as many of this big of a size. And then when someone does go along trying to find some less competition, higher price for me. Back to Dickies. That's more my size. Looks like similar to the other ones, darker denim. Just a bit of dust on it from being work worn. But again, most importantly, no rips or tears or anything like that. The straps are still intact, got both the buttons. So happy with that again. Back pockets, front pockets. Again, just checking the bottoms of the jeans, like where they would get scraped on the floor and they're looking good. So 40, 50 pounds are there, 40, 45. So number three, we've got Carhartt, two of each so far lighter on this one not as big as the 50 inches from last time these ones are 42 inch so on the bigger size again not really big like the 50 inches but again looks like to be the same story here good condition could benefit from a wash i might not put them in a wash they'll take forever to dry plus they're meant to be rugged and warm so benefit of this i don't necessarily have to do that and again good condition from a different wholesaler, but uh, consistent with the condition, which is very important. Let's get away from the blue. I've just seen this brown pair. Oh, is that a kid's size or women's size? Uh, we've got Carhartt though. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the size on this. Uh, it says Carhartt 7. Carhartt 7. So what's size 7? So it looks quite small. Seven year old. There you go. If I stand them up, it comes up to here. Is that a seven year old Carhartt dungaree? That's pretty cool, but I don't know what the resale value would be. That's the only thing. I'm not sure, I might have to do a bit more research on that, but I really liked the colour. Shame it's not a bigger size, obviously a obvious men's size, but if it could be a small women's, then it's not all lost. And even if it is kids, I'm pretty sure there's still a good strong market on them, especially with like hipster parents. Carhartt again, lovely jubbly. The mid blue wash. Uh, this has got a bit more wear to it, this one at the bottom here. So in fact, a bit of a hole, but that's near the bottom. So it's not a disaster. It's not like bang in the middle or anything like that. And like I said at the start, before I open the box, the rougher wear, because it is work wear, like vintage, the patina, we'll call it, will sell it as well. So yeah, a bit more stainage to the knees as well. This guy's been down to a car or something, a bit of oil stainage to the knees. So this it will affect the price a bit, but it doesn't mean they're not sellable because um, then punk rockers, you know, I think they'll like that stuff. Everywhere punk rockers everywhere back to the dickies darker denim again but they're the same pair just might be a different size so when it comes to listing this stuff even though i've got more per unit because they're all dungarees because they're all dickies or carhartt i could do one listing and then sell similar change a couple of details like the brand or the sizing and then it's gonna be super quick to list and then cross list as well again a little bit of wear there to the bottoms but overall these ones are in good condition another dickies I think we're getting like 50-50 now with Carhartt and Dickies. Uh, these are a bigger pair, sort of 48 inch waist, maybe 46. Just looking at condition, checking at the bottoms, looking good. Again, another decent solid pair. Carhartt looks exactly the same as the Dickies. Jesus, they are even bigger. But these are another 50 inch, yeah? We've gone bigger. 54 inch waist. Wow. I can't even hold them like a bath towel. So very big size. <laughs> uh, again, checking the bottoms. Put Decent, them put them on. Put them on. <sighs> Amy says I have to put them on. Let's see. Dush. Yeah, um, they definitely don't fit. I'm gonna stand on the sofa. <laughs> so uh, anyone want to join me in these? Yeah, that's the style. I don't know if they suit me, but again, a minion. <laughs> a minion. What? Yeah, hopefully I can find a guy that fits these and will like them. <laughs> the last one for this box. I haven't been counting them. Hopefully this is 10. That's what I ordered. And we're finishing with duh, 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 Dickies. Same again. Looks more of a medium to large, maybe extra large. Check the old condition. All good. Yeah. Nice and strong. Really, really happy with that box. There was the one small one, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it can fit a smaller women. So we're going into that market as well. And there we go. That was my order from Fleek. So thanks again for sponsoring the video, Fleek. And because you've hung around for this long, it's a new year. I want to help out a new, hopefully, 
business get going. I wanna help kickstart someone new, or if you are experienced, everyone can join in. Just like the video, leave a comment down below, just saying happy new year or something like that. And you go within the chance of winning the first box, the sportswear box. I'm gonna send out to a random subscriber, viewer, and they get the whole box completely free. There you go. So I'll announce this within, we'll say I'll give it a week of this video going live. So whenever this goes live, I'll give it seven days. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, put down below, just happy new year, something like that. Whoever's commented within this video, you get a chance to win 20 pieces of, as you saw, good quality, standard, good stuff, sportswear to fill your eBay, Depop, Vinted, whatever you want to sell on for free. Start the new year with a bang. Also, now the new year's turned over, the countdown to boot sale seasons have started. I'm looking at March and I've got a lot of stuff to list. So if you haven't got as much stuff to list, I definitely recommend Fleek. I've been very, very impressed. I've been looking at their catalog, even behind the scenes and that, just checking out what they got. And yeah, they've got some decent stuff. I've been trying to withhold so I don't buy even more because I'll get in trouble. <laughs>